hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we're making cookie gun biscuits they're also known as spritz biscuits so i'm particularly making this video for one of my subscribers you know i think it would be nice uh, for me to do this for her because she once asked me if one of my biscuits recipes she can use a cookie gun and i said no um i'll post um a cookie gun recipe so today this is just for her so let's go on and uh, make the biscuits they're very easy so they'll be very quick so from the beginning put your oven at 160 degrees just preheated so i've already got my butter in here it's softened so we're gonna go ahead and just loosen up the butter a little bit that's it we're gonna put a cup of sugar don't worry guys as usual i will put my uh, ingredients uh, below so don't worry about how much of what i'm putting in guys my mixture has doubled in size so uh we're going to go ahead and add a few more ingredients we need a teaspoon of vanilla i hope i've got enough in here so we're going to add a head. Oh, okay. Just a teaspoon. That's about it. So vanilla extract or vanilla essence should be fine. No big deal. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of milk. Then we need one more ingredient which is an egg guys i would advise you to crack your egg in a different bowl before adding it to here just to avoid having eggshells um in your mixture guys nobody wants texture they want to be don't want to be eating biscuits and then there's this nasty texture so uh, that's my advice yeah just make sure it's easier when you crack it in a different bowl so that if you've got an eggshell you can easily remove it so we're going to mix this until it's nice and smooth give yourself time it takes maybe let's say about two to three minutes so let's go ahead and mix this is how the mixture will look like it's uniform it's smooth it's well mixed so this is what you would like to see so we're ready now to add the flour so i've got flour already mixed with baking powder so because i don't want it flying all over the kitchen so i'll add a little bit of flour at a time and mix in with my spatula just fold it in um, and then i'll finish it off with my mixer I'm just using my hands now to just make sure the dough is well mixed if I am done so we're gonna fill in the cookie dough and start pressing you chose a pattern I like uh oh I've already chosen a pattern I like so I've placed it um sorry I'm gonna get that rid of there I already placed it in and then you know I, guys i think it's your decision as to how you fill it in either from the top or from the bottom so for me uh, i never know what i do it, it depends on the mood on the day so today i'm gonna fill it from um the top i just push it in until i could see a little bit starting to come out so that's how i know i've got good then I will be able to press through. 
So we're closing our um, press. So what I do, I just press in until the press is able to push through and then I know we are good to go. You press, hold, release, give it some time and then you've got a pattern. I normally do it twice. Then you've got a pattern or you can do it once. Guys, the cookies won't spread that much. So this is once. Well, oh, okay, that one didn't come out. So I'll press it twice. So you need to be very careful, guys. If you just go press, 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 it might not come out. So you need to be very patient and allow the press, fully press it, release it and give it time to settle on the baking paper. I finished uh, pressing the cookies, guys. I'll do the next tray again so that I can show you um, dealing with the cookie press because it's a bit tricky and I, I understand why a lot of people want nothing to do with the cookie press. So I've learned a few tricks and, you know, ways of managing with the cookie press. Like you can see, I've got singles and I've got doubles because when it doesn't come out, you double press. But when it doesn't come out, even if you double press, you need to know how to half click so that the cookie then come, you know, comes down on the tray. So I'll do another cookie press tray so that you see so this will go into the oven i've just put a little bit of cherries so it's not much just you know to highlight a few biscuits um they'll go into the oven for like eight to ten minutes or until you see that the edges have browned up and then they're good you take them out of the oven so let's go into the oven um guys let's do another pen um another tray of the cookie so that i can show you how to deal with the cookie press so so i've i've changed uh sorry the pattern again just to a different flower so stress much it's not really much of um a problem all you need to know is it does come out like this one or maybe it doesn't come out like this one if it doesn't come out no problem you just look it didn't come out have click then you put it there I have just taken my first batch out of the oven so you can see the difference. This is my, my second tray that is not baked. This is the first one that I put in the oven. So you just bake them until you, you, you know, your edges have browned. Um, so they're done. They, they might not look like they've got not, not much on them, but they're done. You can decorate them as much as you want, you know, whether you put sprinkles or you put jam um so this is just how they look you just allow them to cool off the, you can read they've hardened so they're not soft so you can pick them up and be able to put them on a cooling rack so we are back with the this is the second batch that came out of the oven um i just want to show you um what i'm going to do to decorate them and i'll show you another shape that i made as well so this is the third tray so i've made hearts um guys you can make any shape i still have some some dough left i'm gonna make a different shape you can make any shape you like you just need to know how to use the cookie gun and these are very easy the recipe is easy so let me quickly put this in the oven and then i'll show you um how i want to decorate um the other ones with jam so while they're still hot i've put a little bit of jam into a piping bag so I just want to put on this ones just a small amount of jam. Some other ones I've already done this bit. So some other ones that I put. So while it's hot, the jam is gonna stick. So if you want to do this, you're gonna have to do it while your jam is still very your so your cookies are still hot coming out of the oven. So guys these are the spritz biscuits or the cookie gun biscuits like i said before they're easy so i'm just going to put them on my plate guys let me know if you want me to put um some more biscuit recipe i've got a lot like a lot listen when i was back home me and my mom baked all the time so i've got a listen a lot of biscuits just let me know i've got ginger i've got chocolate i've got ginger snaps and i do have i'll think about it guys when i can post this i do have a recipe that my mom and i use when we sort of like 
have weddings because it yields a lot of biscuits and it, it really does not need stuff like icing sugar and oil it just uses your basic ingredients that are actually um available at home like your eggs you, you know most people do have eggs most people do have margarine so let me know guys if you still want me to post some more of the um biscuits but because i want to do some other recipes so that i can sort of like think how i can put them across but guys please like share and subscribe um and i will see you next time thank you bye